I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you also should do. Today's verse comes from the readings for the evening Mass of the Lord's Supper. Holy Thursday marks the beginning of the Holy Triduum, the three days that extend from Holy Thursday to the Easter Vigil, the high point of the liturgical year, whereby we enter into the Paschal Mystery, the Passion, Death, Resurrection, and Ascension of Christ, in a special way. Today we celebrate the gift of the Eucharist and what it means. These words in the Gospel come as Jesus washes the feet of his disciples at the Last Supper. The Master takes the place of the servant. In John's Gospel, this episode is what we find at the Last Supper, where in the other Gospels we find the words of institution, the words we hear in the Eucharistic prayer at every Mass. Rather than telling us that service takes the place of Eucharist, however, John's Gospel is telling us what the Eucharist is all about. You see, in the Eucharist, Christ takes the place of the servant to a preeminent extent, offering his very self to us completely. As these words from the Gospel remind us, this gift of Christ is not simply meant to be isolated. Rather, it is meant to strengthen us as we ourselves are to become gifts to others. This gesture of washing of feet, which we ritually repeat on this day, encapsulates the attitude of all of Jesus' ministry and summarizes the life that we are called to by sharing in this Eucharist. In these words, Christ is not simply asking us to repeat the ritual of washing feet. He is asking us to imitate his attitude of service in all that we do. And this service is nourished and strengthened by the gift of himself in the Eucharist. So on this special day, let's ask ourselves, how am I preparing myself to go out and imitate Christ, the servant?